My name's Tom and in this video I'm going to show you how you can convert your guitar, or bass or vocal tracks or whatever into um, MIDI files which you can then use to play virtual instruments like keyboards, um, virtual orchestration, Mongolian nose flutes, whatever. And the other useful thing for MIDI is that you can use it to transcribe um, music. So if you record something ages ago and can't remember what you're actually playing, you can just convert it to MIDI and you can see all the notes. Or if you want to learn new songs quickly, it can be a good way to um, just see what notes somebody else was playing. So that can be quite helpful as well. So um, to start with, what I did is I just recorded a small bit of guitar. Um, I just put the guitar straight into the interface and it's using just um guitar rig on top for the guitar for the affected guitar to make it sound like a guitar rather than just a plinky plonk sound. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send one track with the whole affected guitar to convert to MIDI and then another track just for DI so you can see the difference. So I insert new track. Right, and what I'm going to use is Rear Tune, which is just the tuner you can use. So when you play the tuner, you see the notes come up here for the notes. And what you can do is you click on here, send MIDI events, and then you can record the MIDI. So um, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use to play it, I'm going to use Vital, which is a free synth, which is very good. So I'll just not not everything will work brilliantly. So you, you really want, say, a lead style of single notes. If you do pads or something, it'll just be too slow to react. So I know this one works reasonably well. OK, so I'll just duplicate this. So I'll call this guitar effects. This one guitar DI. Oh, and what I need to do is um is I need to do output and I need to do record output MIDI. And then on the guitar track which I'm sending, I need to go to the root for sending. And I do add new send, send it where it's going. Um, guitar effects, guitar DI. So you could just record straight onto the track and convert it to MIDI. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend the signals from the original guitar and the synth sounds together just to show you. So this gives you a bit more control over it doing it this way. So first of all, I'll just record um, the guitar effects one. Okay, so you can hear that it recorded, it converted it into MIDI, but it's adding in a lot of extra noise. So you're getting a lot of noise from the distortion and the delay which is just making a bit of a mess of a MIDI. So what I'm going to do on this next one is I'm going to turn off all the effects. So you're just sending the straight plinky plonk DI sound. So now have a look at the um, at MIDI comparing it as it goes. <laughs> Okay, so that's much cleaner, but it's still not perfect. So what I'll do is I'll just remember to turn off turn off the rear tune now, because otherwise that will interfere with it. And then what you're probably gonna need to do, unless it, unless you're playing very slowly and very cleanly, is you might need to go in and edit the MIDI. But also, I mean things like vibrato. It, it won't reproduce a vibrato the same. It will jump straight between notes. 
And if you do anything like string, string scraping or damping, then it just won't pick that up at all. It'll just be a mess and it can quite easily just pick up very small amounts of string noise, um, make it sound messy. So, I mean, you can actually see on the vibrato here, see what I mean? That's the vibrato. So if you're doing it on a keyboard, you could just move the vibrato wheel on it. But here it's jumping between notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tidy this up a bit, which is something you'll probably need to do. So you can see it's going up and down there, which is kind of what you want. So I'm just going to get rid of some of these bottom notes here, which is just probably string noise. So this is when you're just trailing off and sliding on the notes. So that's OK. Um, literally just double clicking on here you go it's like some rubbish in here it's just probably where I've just caught the string playing so if you're playing cleanly you don't hear that so much but this all comes out so Yeah, so this bit here, you can see this is the vibrato, just ends up individual notes. So, OK, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn back on the guitar with the effects and try and mix them in together. So I'll play. Hmm, that still looks like it's got a messy bit there. I'll just get rid of that. Go to where it seems quite low down, so I'm not sure what it was. Yeah, there you go. I'll make a funny noise. So still not perfect, but a lot cleaner. So I've turned back on the guitar effects and then I've got the synthesizer for Vital going. So now I'll play these together and see how, how these sound. <laughs> OK, so that's much better. It's much cleaner. It's not perfect. That gives you a good idea. So um, this stage, you're probably thinking, well, this is all very well. But what it really needs is some harmonies from a singing llama. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new track. Put it down here. I'm just going to copy across the MIDI. So I just do a copy of the whole item, paste it in. And then on this track, I'm going to add in something different. So this is Delay Llama. Um, type it on there. So this is free. I, I did a video recently showing some sort of strange and unusual free virtual instruments. So I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to check it out and give it a try yourself. So from experience, I know that um, llamas aren't brilliant at doing high notes. Um, so I think I'm going to drop it down an octave. So once you've got the MIDI, you can start messing about. You can do harmonies and stuff. You could do it on a fifth. So if I say wanted to change it to a fifth harmony, I'll just go up seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to do edit, select all, select all the notes, and then I'm going to go transpose. So yeah, so here you would just do seven if you wanted to go up to a fifth. So it'd be seven semitones. What I actually want to do is I want to go down 12. So I'm going to do minus 12. So this would be an octave below. So it looks the same, but it should be like an octave below, I think. So I'll just try a little bit of this just on my llama and then put it together. OK, so now I'll try the whole lot together, see how that sounds.
there you go that's much better so I'm going to do some other videos soon um, I'm going to do one on guitar synths as well so I can there's some different tools I can use for converting guitar to MIDI and operating synth so I'll do that so um, if that sounds interesting then you can subscribe and put on the alerts also I've got a video showing off sort of these strange VSTs I've got several of them which are quite interesting to play with so hopefully um, that's been something useful hopefully it will open up a whole load of possibilities to you and once you have MIDI you can convert it to different scales you can move it about you can edit it you can even change the notes and play it through completely different instruments so yeah thanks for watching and cheers bye